back to another Minecraft video today. I have something awesome, guys. I'm going to show you how to use texture packs in Minecraft PE 0.15.0. It's the secret texture packs option. So here's the texture texture packs menu right here. I'm using the beta for block launcher. So you're going to have to download that. And in the download, uh, there will be a download link in the description for the vanilla texture pack, which you will need to do this. Uh, here is the languages button, the signing button, and then... We have the resource packs button, and I am going to show you guys how to use that. So, uh, head over to your file manager. So, you're going to head over to your games folder. Go into your file manager. Go into whatever kind of file manager you have. I will link one in the description below. So, go to your file manager. Click on internal storage games, and then com.mojang. And right here, make a folder named resource and then underscore packs. Spelled just like that, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's how it should be. Like 90% sure. And once you've done that, this is where you're going to put your resource packs. Now, Minecraft PC texture packs and Minecraft PE texture packs both do not work, sadly. So I'm going to show you guys how to make, um, you know, I'm going to show you guys how to make Minecraft PC texture packs work. Um, not sure if there's a way for Pocket Edition right now, unless you have some Photoshop skills. And even then, you have to do a lot of editing to do that. So it's just easier if you just use a PC Edition texture pack. I'm going to show you guys how to edit a TP, a P, TP, a PC TP, so PC texture pack to work with this. So now what you're going to want to do is um, download the thing in the description. The thing in the description is going to say vanilla texture pack, and then um, it will, so it'll say vanilla uh, texture pack, um, and just download that one, and then move it to your resource packs folder that you just created so what you're gonna do is once you download it you hold down on it like i did now click the three buttons click move and move it to here but i already moved it to here and then once you're in this folder just click paste which i've already done obviously so now we're gonna make a new folder name it whatever you want we can name this test here <laughs> test tp for text text test texture pack and now hold down on vanilla click the three uh dots move and then open up test TP and paste it right here. Hold down on it again. Three dots. Extract. And then click extract. <clears throat> Actually, no. Cancel that. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Uh, you, you could just delete that. What, what just happened? Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to extract here. <laughs> Sorry. I always mess that up, guys. <laughs> extract here instead of extract. And that should work. Um. Yeah, so sorry about that. Extract might work for you guys, but if you keep saying, like, there's an error, merge, all that stuff, <laughs> it's not working right. So you're going to extract it. Dep I don't know. It depends on how good your tablet is or your file manager. <laughs> not sure how long it takes, but um, mine's taken a while, kind of. So I'll be right back um, when it's done. Okay, so once you're done extracting it, it should look just like this. Um, and now it's in your test TP folder, all these things. Now you can delete... Um, vanilla.zip but I'll keep it here just in case um <clears throat> just in case I end up needing that so now we have all this and now we're gonna just just keep it here for now go into images and then um you should see a folder that says blocks now here are all the blocks in Minecraft you could edit them make your own texture pack or you could download a PC edition texture pack so now that you have this don't do anything go download a TC PC I almost just said TC again or, or TP or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> Download a PC Edition texture pack, and once you've done that, um, come back to this video. I'm going to go download one, so I'll be right back. Okay, so once you've downloaded it, move it into your test TP folder, and then in your test TP folder, make another folder, and name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Faith, because why not? I'm using the Faithful texture pack. And then, and by the way, if you have any questions, just t ask me on Twitter or in the comments. Don't worry about it, guys. Um... <clears throat> So now move this texture pack that you downloaded into the faith folder and then hold down on it, click the three dots, click extract, extract, and wait for it to extract. And once it's done extracting, which again is going to take me a while, um, the next step, uh, it'll be time for the next step. So I'll be back when it is done. Extract. Oh, oh my gosh, you're supposed to click extract here. I keep forgetting that, guys. Extract here, extract here. Um, all right, I'll be right back when that is done. Okay, so once it's done extracting, you should have all of this stuff right here. Um, or whatever your texture pack has. Um, here is my assets folder, Minecraft, textures, go all the way into there. Then you'll see blocks, hold down on it, click the three dots, click move, bring it over here, 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 until you're in the test TP folder and paste it right there. And then 
Uh, now, now you should have a blocks folder in your test TP, which should be your textured ones, as you can see, my texture pack ones. So then you're gonna click on, um, not faith, you're gonna click on images, and then delete the blocks folder that's in here. This was the vanilla texture pack, delete that. And now the texture pack blocks, move that into images, just like that. And now in here we have blocks like this, and then, um, if you really want to, uh, I'm going to do it because why not? We're going to grab this pack.png because it looks cool. Move that. Um, you could do this, pack.png here. Oh, pack icon. That's what it has to be. So, so you could delete the old pack icon and rename it to pack underscore icon dot p and oh, icon and then icon. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> now we got, all right, it's going to look like that in Astro File Manager, but if you open it up, you guys can see it actually will, it actually should. Yep, it looks like that. So, um, you're almost done now, guys. Now, you can delete, like, or if you, that's, I only added the blocks. You guys see, like, here, if I go into blocks, <clears throat> they're all the faithful blocks, um, you can see from the faithful texture pack. But, um, if I go into, like, <clears throat> item, like, uh, it's still not done so um i didn't do everything i'm just doing the blocks for this example but you can change all of this stuff like you could go into the mobs change the mobs you could do all of that um you could do all of that stuff if you really want to you just have to change it and stuff like that like here um <clears throat> if i can find it yeah like you could do so much you could edit the texture pack completely now if you have any questions comment or something or twitter but all right we're not done with this just yet now make another folder named my new TP or whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna call it my new TP. So hold down images, hold down models, blocks.json, items.json, pack underscore icon.png, resource.json. Click the three dots, move, and move them all into my new TP. And then all that should be left is your texture pack folder that I named Faith and the vanilla one, which that, that's that's fine. <clears throat> now with my new TP. Um, I will show you guys what to do with that in just a moment. Okay, so just keep my new TP in resource packs. Don't zip it. Don't do anything to it. But in my new TP, um, I found out I cannot use, um, I can't use, what's it called? Faithful. The reason is because it's a 32 pixel by 30, I mean 64 by 64 pixel texture pack, I'm pretty sure. And Minecraft PE only supports 16 by 16 so I used a different one. I don't know why it still shows like this, but if I actually open, like if I actually look at the image, you'll see it looks different now. Um, <clears throat> like um, here, Bedrock um, looks different. I'm using a different texture pack now because um, <clears throat> this one's 16 by 16 pixels. The other uh, Faithful is like 64 by 64, which MCP does not support. So if you're using Faithful, just switch the blocks, do something else. Again, if you have any questions, just tell me. So now you wanna go on a block launcher, Block launcher, okay. Block launcher. <laughs> Click the resource packs button, and uh, this will be over here. Probably it'll look look like uh, there will be no picture. It'll just be black, and it'll say vanilla. Just move that over there. Tap on it. Click the X, and then you should be able to go on a world, and it works. You have a texture pack in Minecraft PE. Look at this guy's like a sticky piston. Like look, it's crazy. It's so cool looking. Like lever like everything it should work and now if it didn't work for you tell me in the comment section down below i will help you out or to the side or wherever your comment section is but i will try to help you guys um because i want you to be able to fully um use this because it's really cool and um yeah uh, i can't believe this feature was added secretly and they didn't even do anything but now now we got it so if you guys want this texture pack i'll also link this in the description so thanks for watching and bye everyone